Hello students, in today's video we shall learn about the second method of finding out P by Q form of a decimal number. We have earlier done this problem, example number 8, where we have converted this to a P by Q form rational number. Also we did example number 9 here and we did this one, number 3 of exercise 1.3. So all these problems we use the same method. Today we are going to use the second method to solve these problems. So first let me read out the problem. Show that 1.272727 dot 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 that means it's repeating itself. It's a non-terminating repeating decimal number equals to 1.27 bar. Bar is on 27 to show that it's repeating can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So the first two steps would remain the same that is we will take x let x equals to 1.272727 dot 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 and since two digits are repeating we are going to multiply both sides by 100 so 100x and right side when we multiply the point shifts two places to the right. So that's 127.272727 it's repeating okay so the first two steps are same next label this as equation number one and this as equation number two equation one equation two now subtract equation one from equation two number two minus equation number one okay so equation 2 is this one 100x so 100x is equal to 127.2727 and equation number 1 is this one x equals to 1.27 so x equals to be careful with the way you write it because point decimal point will come just below decimal point and here we have 1 so 1. Point 2727. Now you will subtract. So we will do minus. That means if you want, you can write it like this. Subtract 100x minus x is 99x. And now we'll subtract this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Point 7 minus 1, 6, 2, 1. Now this 0 we can just ignore. This basically means 126. So we can write this as 99x equals to 126. Now x is equal to divide both sides by 99. Now do the cancellations. 3 3s are 9, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 2s are 6, 3 1s are 3, 3 3 1s are 3. 3 1s are 3 and 3 4s are 12. So that equals to 14 over 11. So we can say x equals to 1.27 bar which equals to 14 over 11. And see this is same as the solution here. 14 over 11 you see that so this is the first method that we used and now I'm showing you the second method now using the same method second method I'm going to show you one more example example number 9 that we did so the first two steps remains the same show that 0.235 dot 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 equals to 0 0.235 bar is on 35 35 is repeating can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. First two steps would remain the same. Let x equals to 0 0.235 and write like this. And since two digits are repeating, multiply by 100 on both the sides. So 100x equals to the point will shift two places to the right. So that's 23.53535. So label this as equation number 1, equation number 2. And then we will do 2 minus 1. Equation 2 minus equation 1. So just rewrite this. 
be careful when you are writing equation number one the decimal point would be just below this decimal point so you can put the point first then zero here zero point two three five three five okay now we will subtract minus 100x minus x is 99x and here 0 0 0 0 5 minus 2 3 3 minus 0 3 23.3 ignore the zeros so this is 99x equals to 23.3 so x is equal 23.3 by 99 to multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 to remove this decimal point so that would become 233 over 990 and this is your final answer because there are no common factors so we can write that x equals to 0 0.235 bar is equal to 233 over 990. Now if we compare, this is using the first method, we got the answer and this is using the second method. So whichever method you find easy, you can go for it. That's all for now. See you in the next video.